That was really stupid. I should have declined it. That was kind of cheap of me to take it. Well, I mean, only because I couldn't do it. Okay. Lions at Welcome the Redskins. Week 4 of 64. <sighs> and the Redskins are as close to 64 as I can get them. Which yeah. is not that close, they're, but... They're uh, uniforms on there because I got the feather helmet. Yeah. There you go. Turnover on downs. 2.38 to go. Uh, this is just too good. The broadcast started again. Yes, sir, it has. Talk about not getting off the frickin' ball. Be careful. You never know. Fox might try to hit you up on that. Yeah. I don't think I've ever actually seen the feather helmet in any med. No, I don't think they've ever had it. They only had it for a couple of years. Here it comes. Sunny you see that? It, it, before the tackle was even accomplished, you were at the tuna horn again. Yeah, they happened in one of my games against uh, Terrors also. Huh. It's like, wow, they're in a hurry to get to the team. Yeah. Ready, ready. Seven, Got us trying to score before the team won because you get the ball back. <laughs> Woo! That boy's got some cut. Oh, yeah, Charlie Taylor. He's a Hall of Famer. Yeah. Well, he's a rookie. <laughs> This is the only season he plays running back, though. He goes to wide receiver after this. Yeah, he's in the Hall of Fame because of being a wide receiver. I'm pretty sure he would have had a pretty decent career at a running back, too. If he stuck with it. Star is uh, on, by the way. Star is well, on fire. So far, we're holding them three rushes for 12 yards. Third and 11. Nice long hand catch. But they converted it, so it doesn't freaking matter. Star cannot be intercepted by the area. So you can see where you are and not throw to you. Bob Long. Bob Long. Is that guy's last name six? Six. Oh, you're gonna call a flag on that? Are you serious? It's more like offensive pass interference to me, but whatever. There's a lot. I just now got the position. Hmm. Okay, 58 seconds. Come on. Both Robinson and Davis are halfway to their 
Ronnie Bowl. I was going to say, Washington beat your Steelers in week one. Did they? Yep. I don't know if you remember that or not. The Cardinals beat them in week three. It wasn't that easy to game. 20 to 7, but a lot of field goals. <sighs> They've got Sonny Jurgensen quarterback. Yeah, no, that was Sonny. Comes Milk Plum. He's got 10 touchdowns and one interception so far this season. Now to 20 seconds. So you asked me earlier on the chat about my thoughts on the uh, baseball situation and the cheating. But I will we plan to do a take probably tomorrow. I just need to, I wanted to wait for the Alex Cora decision, but now he's been him and the Red Sox have parted ways. But I can feel much better about the Red Sox you know, telling that as long as this investigation's going on, they, they made the preemptive move. because uh, he was involved in both Houston and Boston. Right. I will say this, I don't see how the Mets keep Beltron. Oh, I know, that's a little interesting. But uh, Gershon Rabinowitz, a reporter in the area, New York City area, that covers New York City sports, posted something about that, and a lot of Mets fans are like, oh yeah, they'll keep him, they don't care. That's, yeah, they do. If they do keep him, I'd be surprised. Yeah, I don't follow baseball near as close as I used to. So I didn't even know half the crap that was going on. It's it, it's a controversy going on over sign stealing. The, the thing, the problem is that baseball allows all this technology into their game, and then they want to get mad when people are using it for nefarious circumstances. It, one, one of the things about baseball is that there's always been cheating. When you get caught, you get punished, blah, 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 whatever. What? Oh, 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 oh. Idiot. So, I mean, the guys that got caught, they're getting punished. But, Phantom asked earlier if I, if I should feel any different about the 2018 World Series. And, honestly, Seven. no. Not the 17th, because, the 18th? I don't know. Yeah. No, because, um... No, sure. Um... They didn't win every game like that. It just happened to be that the Dodgers were in the World Series, but even with sign stealing, you still got to execute. Same thing with I was not said about Spygate. I wasn't said about Spygate when it first happened because you still got to execute on the field. The fact that it's continued to happen repeatedly with the Patriots is what annoys the crap out of me. We're just starting the third quarter of the Packers and the Bears 14. I mean, like. My thing is this, and, and I've only recently updated myself on what exactly happened. They went and physically made the camera where they could see the signs that the pitcher or the catcher was throwing. You know, so that was an overaction. Uh, if, but as far as I'm concerned about sign stealing per se, if a team figures out another team's signs without actually modifying to try and catch them, then that's on them. I mean, it, it is what it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but... Yeah, I think it's the fact that they used I, the I think the fact that they... Well, it wasn't that so much that they used the cameras. It was, it was the manipulation of putting a camera where they could see it. You know? Yeah. If it was just a 
one of the normal places where they had a television camera and they were able to recognize the signs based off of normal scouting and all that crap, you would have probably been fine. Oh. <laughs> yeah, um, the other thing is that in the World Series games themselves, there's a lot more press and media, so it couldn't be done there, like in the world, regular season, but in Dodger Stadium. So, still had to win the World Series. Well, what I find interesting is, is they're sitting there like, well, they stole the signs, and then they would transmit to the batter using a baseball bat and a fucking trash can. Right. right. Okay. Not only is that whole concept pretty asinine in the sense of its effectiveness, because the time it takes between the sign getting to the cat, uh, pitcher and the actual pitch... It's only a matter of what five seconds, maybe five yeah. to seven. Well, so you got to yeah, go from the dude time. standing in the yeah. hallway to say, "Hey, hit three times" or whatever the fuck, and somebody tapping the thing before the fucking pitcher starts his delivery, and the pat the batter's got to fucking process. Oh wait, three is what fastball? Okay, you know. I I think it's kind of asinine that you're gonna sit there and say it was fucking that elaborate the sense of making it that effective. Nice catch. How about maybe a pitcher just had a shitty fucking day and he was throwing nothing but fucking meat right down the pipe. You In know? order for stars, stars expect to come out by the throw to I don't know. I didn't really, really watch the game. A linebacker all day long. So baseball I don't know how nice. bad it was. I didn't actually play for football, but Someone said, like, well, well, even if you know the sign, you still got to hit it. Right. And, like, maybe you Just because played, you know a you fucking know a fastball. Coming, it is so much easier to hit. I don't know but, about that because, I mean, I was a catcher in high school for a few years, and I grew up with a baseball family. And regardless of whether or not you knew it was a curveball, okay, sure, you know it's a curveball, but he still got all sorts of placement for it. And I've seen curveballs that range from fucking a little bender to you're wondering how the hell that even stayed remotely close to the plate. You know? Yeah, but you're talking about oh. high school kids. Got by yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but I'm not, it's not even so much that I'm, it's not even so much that it's high school. My point is, is because even in high school, you got to, my brother was a pitcher and that kid could throw a three finger fastball that could have put him through college. He, however, decided to party for his first semester and fucking bombed out. But uh, even me, I'm not, like I said, I was a catcher. I didn't pitch, and I was more of an outfielder catcher. But I was able to throw a freaking curveball one day that just dropped off the table, you know, and I never was able to do it again. But you sit there and just because you know what the pitch is going to be I, I don't see how that's really going to improve your because you still have to plant that ball on the bat so I don't well for me I, I would hit at least 100 points higher if I knew what the pitch was going to be I mean I'd feel better about knowing that it was a pitch or what the pitch right. was but that again you got to remember, too, the physical act of hitting a baseball pitch is quite literally scientifically impossible. The only reason we're able to do it is because of anticipation and guesstimation. So, I don't know. I just, I, I just don't see how that gave them that much of an advantage considering the speed of information that would have had to go from the time the signal went out to get it to the batter. I, I just, I don't know. But I didn't watch the games, so maybe I'm completely fucking wrong. I don't know. Well, I watched the games, but I'm not as versed in it as some. I mean, I'm pretty familiar with the general I rules of baseball. I can't even get this one. Right. It's so fast. 
So now I got to figure out how to come back from a 21 nothing deficit. Did uh, Terry's end up losing to Seattle Seahawks? Or he, was he able to come back? Yeah, I don't yeah right so. now the Rams are trailing Seattle 24 14. Oh, no, I don't know. I think we lost the uh, real teams. Jeez, and charges. I think you lost both of those. That's what I put. Ah, picking the wrong guy. <laughs> One guy was attacking him. I was other trying to switch to the guy trailing because he was closer, but no, they switched me to 47 and I ran off. Fucking yeah. Christ. I can't run for shit. Oh, didn't come back. What was the play we were watching in the uh, division? I think it was Stafford. I don't want to throw two, but whatever. When they threw the pass out to the flat, and the running back for Seattle caught it and turned it upfield. The fandom immediately sent a message out saying, had that been in Madden, he would have worked his way out of bounds. Right. Yeah. Throw the ball. Just throw the fucking ball. Oh, well, that's doing completion. Right there. Now you gotta throw three 20 yard passes again. Oh, five oh my god. Spending me crazy still with the ninja bridge. Fucking touchdown. Ah. I thought you had it, bro. Yeah, I did too. I got to just stand in there while you're struggling to... Look at this. this, 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 this. <laughs> no, man. You ain't got it. No, nah, man. I'm Willie Wood. You ain't getting no fight me. You just stand here. <laughs> Come on. Tackle the fuck. God damn. 
out. Should have been a fucking safety. Fucking halftime. Fucking bullshit going on. Game tied at 14. What well, else would you expect? <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't run the fucking ball. I've got seven fucking rushing yards. versus the Bears is still scoreless. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get to see that because it's a human game. And that's the expect. That'll be lit up now. Don't allow yards, 20 yards to shut it off. Quarterback and engage your blocker. Oh. Go there. Head lower. 
Third and one. Oh my <laughs> fucking god, Plum. He's wide the fuck open and you throw him fucking 30 yards in front of him. Block! These guys can't fucking block. I can't get no fucking yard to try. For a fucking 3 and 0 team. Nine rushes, nine yards. I think he only had one play that went over two yards. Turn it upfield. And he fucking dropped it in the goddamn end zone. <sighs> fucking cunt. Pick that off. Absolutely fucking stupid. This is a three and O team. Oh god damn it. That fucking dominated in other games. That was getting good. fucking walked all over. No. I don't want to be the asshole here, but you dominated. I get it, but at the same time, I mean, I, I can't run the ball for shit. My offensive line apparently forgot how to fucking block. I have maybe seven yards still, maybe. About fucking time I got something, Jesus. I'm surprised I didn't throw a fucking flag for pass interference. Like I had a catch earlier in the first half. Should have been a touchdown. He caught it in the fucking end zone, but no, they just didn't even fucking review it. Said he was out of bounds. Good job, Lewis. You got all of no yards. As a matter of fact, you lost a fucking yard somewhere. Two minute warning. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. 
somewhere, they've got to put it away and secure it. As <laughs> So much for that fucking turn on me. What the fuck? I did oh my god. I hit the fucking triangle button and somehow oh my god. Wow. That was so was that a one handed catch? <sighs> A lot of the animations are one thing that you didn't know. Oh. 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 Fuck it. Come on, where's the... That's a freaking game situation from the face of everyone with the clock in there. Attention. That long run by Dicka, I didn't call a timeout there. Yeah, they, they kept the trying so. Get me out of bounds. Stay in. <laughs> On the ball! On the ball! Time is now! I 
that team. <laughs> Superstar fucking tackle couldn't block it. Even. That was a game. I think that was that. Yeah, thanks. We've had close games before, but oh, yeah. I think that game was tied almost the entire time. Uh, uh, I've got no leaders. Congratulations on taking training. This statement's not trying to take anything away from me. I've got nobody to blame but myself on that. Not paying attention. To that. Oh um, yeah, I know it's obviously not going to say Well, so much that fucking inside kick recovery. Fuck. Bears needed that though. I'm back. So still ahead of the Bears. Yeah. They're really the only team that's. Still have to get to the In my broadcast. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a good night. Check 50, check 50. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Good game. Fucking Burks. One new injury. Herb Adder was eight, eight weeks broken time. Compared to 11 days. Well, next week I got the Falcons, so. <sighs> Fine next week, and then the Falcons. Lions could take over soul possession at first, but I don't think that's going to happen that much. No, because when I get a break like the last onside kick I had, I fucking throw an interception. No, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Profiles. I'm going to go do some editing. Fucking no huddle, motherfucker. God damn. Fucking cunt bag. Throw the fucking ball! God damn! Oh my god. <clears throat> Are you? Is your guy pump faking? I don't know. No, he escaped the sack apparently. Uh, because uh, I did that like twice trying to do screen passes and I just sat there like an idiot got sacked. And if you hit the icon twice, it's supposed to be pump fake. But I'm yeah. Not, I don't remember hitting it twice. Never mind, I threw another fucking interception, it doesn't fucking matter. But yeah, no, in Madden 18, it was a double tap for a fucking lob pass, and then they went and changed it to a fucking uh, punk fake. Some fucking yeah. bullshit. 33 for Detroit has long hair. I'll go and fix that right now. Yeah, that, uh, I mean, I know it, but I still resort to it sometimes. I'm like, oh, touch me. Oh, no, stand there and get saved. <laughs> so why the hell am I fucking... I think I'll take an 18 or something, but hard to remember something yeah. that I never did. But now, I'm thinking all the time, I'm going to get the Ben Rothschild or something like that. Yeah, I think. Alright. Detroit. Yeah, the Vikings are full of Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Someone's got to just fucking end the game already. Jesus. I can't fucking do anything. Where did this 33 be to Detroit? Oh, 
Oh, Mitch or something. Hell that. I'm surprised they fucking stopped him. Fucking matter. There's 30 seconds left on the fucking game. So in the, his picture, I guess he must have a bag of the yellow something. Yeah, it's that white boy long hair. You can't see with uh, the bigger shoulder pads. It's fixed now. Well, so the Packers have lost to the Bears every single time we've played. Game over. Final so 28 to 7. I don't know what the streak is because I've only played it three times. Now, I've beaten the Bears or the Colts and the Cardinals, but not the Packers. Yeah, I think I beat the Packers the first five times and then split one year. I've only lost one to the Packers total. That's the way it should be. <laughs> <laughs> Although, well, this year we both took a dip. The Bears dipped harder than the Packers, but still it's both their bigger years. And then next year we'll both go back up again. But then after that, it's going to be a while of few years of pain, I think. Well, after 68, we're both bad. 